great sign appeared in heaven, a woman clothed with the sun and the moon beneath her feet and on her head a crown of 12 stars. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God the Father and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. <coughs> We're celebrating on this Sunday, instead of the, the 21st Sunday, this, the assumption of Mary into heaven. It's the, the third of the three privileges, the Immaculate Conception, uh, her being Mother of God, and this today, Mary's assumption into heaven. And, and its meaning for us, the assumption of Mary is important in our own uh, Christian lives. So, as sinners, we come before God and we say, I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask Blessed Mary, ever virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to life everlasting. Amen. Lord, have mercy. <coughs> Christ, have mercy. <coughs> Lord, have mercy. Amen. And we glorify God. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Let us pray. The Masses today are offered for Nellie Butler, anniversary, Patrick Orimoluye, anniversary also, and for the people of the parish, and fourthly, for Oranzo Elia, who has an anniversary around now. Almighty ever-living God, who assumed the Immaculate Virgin Mary, the mother of your Son, body and soul, into heavenly glory, grant, we pray, that always attentive to the things that are above, we may merit to be sharers in her glory. We make this prayer through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. reading from the first letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians. Christ has been raised from the dead, the first fruits of all who have fallen asleep. Death came through one man, and in the same way the resurrection of the dead has come through one man. Just as all men die in Adam, so all men will be brought to life in Christ, but all of them in their proper order. Christ as the first fruits, and then, after the coming of Christ, those who belong to him. After that will come the end, when he hands over the kingdom to God the Father, having done away with every sovereignty, authority, and power. For he must be king until he, he has put all his enemies under his feet. And the last of the enemies to be destroyed is death. For everything is to be put under his feet. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The response to the psalmist. On your right stands the queen in garments of gold. 
On the right stands the queen in garments of gold. The daughters of the king are among your loved ones. On your right stands the queen in gold of warfare. Listen, O daughter, give ear to my words. Forget your own people and your father's house. On your right stands the queen in garments of gold. So will the king desire your beauty. He is your lord, pay homage to him. They are escorted amid gladness and joy. They pass within the palace of the king. On your right stands the queen in garments of gold. Let's stand up for the gospel acclamation. Alleluia, alleluia. Mary has been taken up into heaven. All the choirs of angels are rejoicing. Alleluia. <clears throat> Almighty God, cleanse my heart and my lips so that I may be worthy to proclaim your holy gospel. Amen. The Lord be with you. This is a reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Mary set out and went as quickly as she could to a town in the hill country of Judah. She went into Zechariah's house and greeted Elizabeth. Now, as soon as Elizabeth heard Mary's greeting, the child leaped in her womb, and Elizabeth was filled with the Holy Spirit. She, gra- she gave a loud cry and said, Of all women, you are the most blessed, and blessed is the fruit of your womb. Why should I be honored with a visit from the mother of my Lord? For the moment your greeting reached my ears, the child in my womb leaped for joy. Yes, blessed is she who believed that the promise made her by the Lord would be fulfilled. And Mary said, My soul proclaims the greatness of the Lord, and my spirit exults in God my Saviour, because he has looked upon his lowly handmaid. Yes, from this day forward, all generations will call me blessed, for the Almighty has done great things for me. Holy is his name, and his mercy reaches from age to age for those who fear him. He has shown the power of his arm. He has routed the proud of heart. He has pulled down princes from their thrones and exalted the lowly. The hungry he has filled with good things. The rich sent empty away. He has come to the help of Israel, his servant, mindful of his mercy, according to the promise he made to our ancestors, of his mercy to Abraham and to his descendants forever. Mary stayed with Elizabeth about three months and then went back home. The Gospel of the Lord. I was 11 years old in November 1950. And I remember my mother telling my sisters and me that there was a new, and she she used a word we hadn't heard before, a dogma. Uh, And she explained that this was a very important teaching of the Catholic Christian Church. And later in life, I read about that from the statement of Pope Pius XII, it said, by the authority of our Lord Jesus Christ and by our own authority, we pronounce, declare, and define it to be divinely revealed dogma, 
that the Immaculate Mother of God and ever Virgin Mary, having completed the course of her earthly life, was assumed body and soul into heaven. Uh, Pius XII wasn't saying anything new. It, it had been believed very widely in the church for almost 2,000 years that Mary uh, had been assumed into heaven. The Eastern churches call it the dormition, the sleeping. Um, people often use that expression of sleeping in Christ. Um, but the, the, the dogmatic statement of 1950 made Mary's assumption a core Catholic belief that Mary, the mother of God, has been assumed body and soul into heaven. So but believe in the assumption of Mary's body and soul into heaven. It flows from the beginning, from her immaculate conception. If you like, it's the, the, the end balancing the beginning. There are two moments in our lives when we are totally dependent, totally weak, totally vulnerable. The first is at birth and the second is at death. And everyone goes through that experience, even though politicians talk about being in control. We are not. Um, birth and death. And those were the two moments where God intervened in Mary's life. In her birth, she was immaculate. And in her death, she was assumed into heaven. Um, William Wordsworth, in his sonnet called The Virgins, spoke of Mary as our tainted nature's solitary boast. Mary is the mother of believers. And why do we celebrate the Assumption with such, it displaced, it's displaced the Sunday because it's such an important feast? Well, as Mary said in the canticle, the Almighty had done great things for her and for humanity. And in Mary's Assumption, we celebrate our own Christian destiny. What happened to Mary, we believe, will happen to us. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. you to stand and to profess our faith in the form of the Apostles' Creed. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell, on the third day he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of God, the Father Almighty. From there he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. Amen. On this day, the Assumption of Mary, we pray, as we said at the end of that, the Holy the Hail Mary, that we pray that we too may share in the Assumption of Mary into heaven when our moment of death comes. the mystery of this water and wine, may we come to share the divinity of Christ, just as he humbled himself to share our humanity.
pray, sisters and brothers, pray that our sacrifice may be acceptable to God, our Almighty Father. <coughs> May this oblation, our tribute of homage, rise up to you, O Lord, and through the intercession of the most blessed Virgin Mary, whom you assumed into heaven, may our hearts, aflame with the fire of love, confidently long for you. We ask you this through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty, our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty, Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For today, the Virgin Mother of God was assumed into heaven at the beginning, as the beginning and image of your churches coming to perfection and a sign of sure hope and comfort to your pilgrim people. Rightly, you would not allow her to see the corruption of the tomb, since from her own body she marvelously brought forth your incarnate Son, the author of all life. And so, in company with the choirs of angels, we praise you and with joy we have proclaimed, Holy, Holy, Holy Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed <coughs> who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, and giving thanks, he broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, <clears throat> and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that, partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Vincent, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. 
Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with the Blessed Apostles, and with all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Jesus told us to call God Father, and that's why we have the courage to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. <clears throat> Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you. My peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, you who live and reign forever and ever. Peace of the Lord Jesus be with you always. And we bow in a sign of peace to one another. Peace be with you. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, <coughs> you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. May the receiving of your body and blood, Lord Jesus, not bring me to judgment or condemnation, but through your loving mercy be for me protection in mind and body. Behold, the Lamb of God who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. The body of Christ. blood of Christ. You have a, just a couple of moments to prepare your heart to receive the sacred body of our Lord Jesus Christ after Mass. All generations will call me blessed, for, for the, he who is mighty has done great things for me. 
Lord, having received, or about to receive, the sacrament of salvation, we ask you to grant that through the intercession of the Blessed Virgin Mary, whom you assumed into heaven, that we may be brought to the glory of the resurrection through Jesus Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Let us go forth to announce the Gospel of the Lord. Thank you. 